You have already learned something about the different types of rock in the various earlier videos. We can divide rocks into three types, igneous rock, sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock. This video explains the origin of all these types of rock. Let's start with igneous rock. When something solidifies, the fluid becomes a solid. Igneous rock is a rock that is formed from liquid material. Rock only liquefies when it is very hot and such temperatures are only reached in the interior of the earth. We call liquid rock in the interior of the earth magma. When magma comes to the surface we call it lava. Lava comes in contact with cold water or cold air and will quickly solidify. Two examples of igneous rock are basalt and granite. The oceanic crust consists mainly of basalt, while the continental crust consists mainly of granite. Igneous rock thus arise as a result of endogenous processes, processes that take place as a result of the heat from the interior of the earth. The second group of rocks is sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock is formed when other rock is broken down by watering or erosion. Because these are exogenous processes, sedimentary rock is created by exogenous processes. After weathering or erosion has occurred, the material is deposited again layer by layer, for example by rivers or the sea. The rock is formed by lithification of the layers. Sedimentary rock is easily recognized by its stratification. Fossils can also be found in sedimentary rocks. In other rock types, the remains of plants and animals perish due to the high temperature or pressure, while sedimentary rocks do not. Examples of sedimentary rocks are limestone or sandstone. Sandstone, as the name suggests, mainly consists of grains of sand that have been deposited. Limestone is formed by an accumulation of marine organisms. The third group is metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock is formed when rock under pressure or temperature changes so much that a rock that deviates from the original rock has formed. Metamorphic rock often originates deeper in the soil. There it is warmer and the pressure is also a lot higher due to the rock layers located above it. The formation of metamorphic rock is therefore also an endogenous process. Please note that the temperature is not high enough to melt the rock. Then an igneous rock would be formed. The temperature is only high enough to deform the rock in combination with the pressure. Examples of metamorphic rock are slate and marble. Thus, through endogenous and exogenous processes, these three main rocks form the rock cycle. This cycle means that rocks can change through exogenous and endogenous processes. A lot of time is needed for these changes. These changes therefore mainly take place on a geological time scale.